In this video, we'll look at the structure and operation of CMOS transistors. Recall that there are two kinds, NMOS transistors that act like switches that are open when their gate is low, and switches that are closed when the gate is high, and their complement, PMOS transistors that act like switches that are open when the gate is high, and switches that are closed when the gate is low. Here's the structure of an NMOS transistor. It starts with a substrate of silicon that's been infused with a material like boron so that there's a low concentration of negative charge. Next, we create the source and drain areas by diffusing in a material like phosphorus or arsenic that produces a regions with a high concentration of negative charge. Then a thin layer of glass is grown between the source and the drain on the top of the silicon and the gate is added on top of that so that the glass forms an insulator between the uh, gate and the silicon substrate. The rest of the device is then covered with an insulating layer of glass and then holes are cut through the glass and metal is added to make contacts to the source, gate, and drain. Note that the region surrounding the gate forms a capacitor. Where the gate itself uh, is the top plate of the capacitor, the glass is the insulator between the plates, and the silicon substrate is the bottom plate. The operation of an NMOS uh, transistor is based on the flow of n-type or negative charge. Initially, there's a low concentration of negative charge in the silicon substrate and high concentrations of negative charge in the source and the drain. If we apply ground to the gate, um, the uh, like charges repel and the negative charge in the substrate is pushed down away from the source and the drain. But if we apply a positive voltage to the gate, then positive charge flows onto the gate and uh, opposites attract, and the negative charge in the substrate is attracted to the region between the source and the drain, and we get a conducting channel that effectively closes the switch. The structure and operation of a PMOS transistor is the opposite of an NMOS transistor, and it's based on the flow of positive charge. Here, the source and the drain are infused with a material like boron so that there's a high concentration of positive charge, while the silicon substrate is diffused with something like phosphorus or arsenic, so there's a low concentration. If we put a positive voltage on the gate of a PMOS transistor, um, like charges repel, and the positive charge in the substrate is driven away from the area under the gate. But if we put ground on the gate, then uh, negative charge flows onto the gate and opposites attract, pulling the positive carriers into the region between the source and the drain, um, creating a conducting channel and effectively closing the switch.